Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and today we're doing a TJ Maxx haul. I went in TJ Maxx for, I don't even remember, oh, I was looking for lamps. Okay, I was looking for lamps. I did not find any lamps, but I did end up with two bags of stuff. Quit licking your feet. So we're going to look through everything I got at TJ Maxx. We're going to start with this one. Okay, so one of the things that I got was this. This is a two-pack of these double-walled glass. It's thundering. December. Okay, anyways. A two-pack of these double-walled glass mugs. They're not supposed to sweat. Um, <clears throat> also, it's not going to be hot on your hand or anything like that. Uh... I don't know. It says they have thermal shock resistance. I didn't really get them for that. I got them because they were cute. But here they are. So cute. This one has a little bit of like a scratch or something on it, which is weird. But it is what it is. None of them are broken that I know of. So, love those. Super cute. Um, the, it comes in a two pack and these were $7.99, so eight bucks, but I don't have a lot of cups, so I needed some more. And this is just two eight ounce cups. I got two, got two boxes because I was like, I don't want just two. I need like at least four of them. I don't know why. Next up, I got... This two pack of blush colored uh, satin pillowcases. They're great for your hair, for your face, for your skin, all that crap. I got this two pack, I, had, I saw them. Um, they were, it was $7.99 for two of them. And I don't know, I just was like, let me grab that two pack. I needed some new ones um, just because I have one pillow that used to have one on there and I have no idea where it went. It was hot pink and light pink. It was striped kind of like the wallpaper back in the day of Victoria's Secret. I have no idea if the wallpaper still looks like that. But if you know, you know, back in the day, the wallpaper in the fitting room area was like hot pink and light pink stripes. Anyways, it looked like that. <clears throat> and then I have a gray one that Max has really been trying to get me to give him because I gave Sophia my first one. So I'm going to give Max the gray one, as if a six-year-old needs a satin pillowcase. Might as well start him young. And I'm going to use these two. They feel really pretty decent. Are they the best quality ones ever? No. They don't compare to my Kish ones. Is it Kish? Kitsch? Whatever it is. And I mean, they don't compare to those, but it is what it is. I don't know. Apparently, you can follow these people on Instagram. It's the brand Odara. Odera. Whatever. Grab those. Then I went over to the shoe section because I peeped from across the store that they had a ton of Uggs. Like the Ugg slippers with the strap on the back. And I was like, are you kidding me? That is crazy. I think there were like 40 bucks. Sophia has been wanting some. But I just, it's so hard for me to process spending so much. Because I think they're like 110 maybe. I, I could be wrong. Um, so much on a pair of Ugg slippers that she can only wear really around the house. And then she's going to grow out of them. I don't know. It's just like insane to me. It's like, honey, just wait until you're you're older and your feet stop growing. And then, then, then I got you. <clears throat> but while I was over there. I saw these. I do not wear an 8 in Vans, okay? I don't know why I thought, hey, let's do it, but I did it, okay? I got this pair of Vans. It's a, it's a size 8. They're, they are an 8. A 6.5 in men's, an 8 in women's. I don't wear an 8, okay? These are huge. The, these are huge. What was I thinking? Okay, I guess I can wear socks, but... Anyways, I just like the way these looked. I thought they were super duper cute. These hopefully will be comfy for like just walking, like walking the dogs and stuff. But 
very very grippy bottom I like the little pink detail cream color not a bad stitch and I paid $29.99 for these 30 bucks love these I will try them on and let you see them they may look like clown shoes I don't know we will see now on to the clothes let me pull everything out Okay, I feel like when it comes to, sorry, there was like fuzz flying and I was trying to grab it. <laughs> Probably looks like I was going nuts. But anyways, I feel like when it comes to TJ Maxx, you either go in and you see everything that you want or you go in and you see nothing that you would ever wear. This was one of those times where I could have filled up the entire cart. They had such cute stuff, but I narrowed it down to the pieces that I picked up and I'm going to show you. Okay, so first up, we have this faux leather, and don't worry, I'm going to try everything on, but I'm going to show you everything first, and then we'll go over and try them on, and I'll just jump through all the pieces. First, we have this faux leather top. I don't know what this brand is. I hardly ever know what the brands are that are in TJ Maxx. It's Curious, K-I-R-I-O-U-S. I've never heard of this brand before in my life, but... It was $14.99. It says it's normally $20. I don't know. Very, very cute. I like the way this is made. Hopefully it fits nicely. But I just thought this would look really cute with a pair of jeans. It does zip up the back. So that may be a pain in the ass to put, uh-oh, shit, to put on myself. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute whenever I go to put this damn thing on. But the inside is really nice and soft. It feels well made. And I mean, it is faux leather, but it actually looks pretty convincing, to be honest. So whenever I saw it, I was like, 14 bucks? Yeah, get in my cart for sure. And then this is the same brand, another faux leather top, but this one's got a different design on it. So we've got like the little dip at the front and it's got the fake boning in it. It is not, it's not boned at all. It's just the illusion of it with these seams. But very, very cute. It has adjustable straps. This one was also $14.99. And it came in black and it also came in tan. And I was this close to getting the tan. I actually thought I did. But apparently I didn't. Anyways, it also has a zipper in the back. <clears throat> but... I feel like this one would be easier to zip up because the zipper isn't as long and it doesn't go all the way up. But anywho, very cute. I got a small in this one too. Again, I hope it fits well. I hope it's not too big or too tight or anything like that. Tops like this need to fit perfectly or they just look silly. So can't wait to try that on. I also picked up, guys, I was walking through the clearance section and I saw this and I don't know why I got it but I did it was on clearance for eight bucks and it's like this bodycon dress it's in a small medium and it's by the brand Aura A-U-R-A -A. and yeah here's the brand tag but it's just this bodycon dress in this tan color and I don't know why but it just gave me like luxury, more expensive vibes. There's just something about it that screams, if I saw somebody wearing this out styled correctly, I would think this costs more than $8. I wouldn't think they picked it up at TJ Maxx. I don't know why, but we're gonna try this on and see, it may look terrible, but at least I'm only eight, out $8 and not 80. You know, uh, let's see. Another thing I picked up, if you are someone that likes just like cropped long sleeve tops, that's your jam. TJ Maxx always has a multitude of the damn things. So go in there. This one was $12.99. I got it in a medium because I didn't want it to be skin tight on the arms. This is Sincerely Jewels. And I don't know if this sounds familiar just because I was looking through TJ Maxx for so long and I saw tons of other stuff by the same brand or if I've actually heard it or seen it before. This is extremely soft and stretchy. This material, buttery soft. Like, it's good, okay? And it's just this pretty green color and it's gonna be cropped. 
not too much. This is the kind of cropped that would hit the top of your high-waisted jeans, okay? So you still wouldn't be showing any of your stomach, especially if you're like insecure about that or you're just not comfortable doing it. This is a good little top. I do believe they had other colors in this one, but I don't know, for some reason the green was speaking to me. So that's what I grabbed. And I think I might try it on with these because they kind of look cute together, but I grabbed these. I have been into overalls and stuff like that lately. Oh, that's twisted. Let me, come on now. There we go. Wait, okay. I was like, wait a minute, it's defective. It's not. Jeez. Okay, anyways. So I grabbed these little overalls. These are the brand Wallflower. I have no idea. Never heard of it. Never heard of her. Um, yeah. Anyways, I paid $16.99 for these. They're like a cotton material. Very, very comfy. Love them. What size did I get? Hello? Hello? Okay, apparently I got a size small. And they're like jogger style, so they're like cuffed at the bottom. Very, very cute. They have good pockets. We've got side pockets. We've got one booty pocket on the right booty cheek. But it's very soft. Got a little drawstring on the waist so you could cinch it in so you're not looking like a box or a farmer. Love that. I think I'll try that on with the green top. It may not look the best, but you know make things go a little bit quicker. And then I have two more things that I picked up and then we will start trying things on. Oh, another thing that was in the clearance section. Okay, so this is Rachel Zoe, which I obviously know who that is. And this was on clearance for 23 bucks. They originally had it for $29.99. You're only saving like seven bucks, but that's better than nothing. Anyways, it's this blazer, and it is so beautiful. It is very well made. It is nice quality. It has functioning pockets. It has shoulder pads. I love the pattern. It's very, very weighted, and this looks like a men's blazer, so I'm living for that moment. Love that. And I just like the gray tones. Um, I don't know why. I just saw this and instantly I was like, I need you. You need to be home with me. We need to be friends. Um, I got a size medium probably because they didn't have another size. And that was what I had an option to get. This thing is heavy, which is good. It's also like, it's a lot of fabrics, a lot of material. It's very heavy. And I've had it wadded up in a TJ Maxx bag for like three or four days and it's not wrinkled. So we love that. We love a moment where we're not gonna be a wrinkly mess. And then last I have these. These are Lucky Brand, okay? And these were also in the clearance section. They were 25 bucks. They originally had them for 35. And these are just a nice pair of Lucky Brand jeans. I wouldn't necessarily say they're like skinny skinny because this doesn't look super duper, you know, tight at the ankle. But can you re like really lucky brand jeans? And it has the original price tag in here that says $100. So these are mid-rise. It says they're skinny jeans, but it is what it is. I like a good skinny jean, okay? But it says mid-rise skinny. These are the Avas. And I got a size six because that's all they had. I hope they fit. I'm sure they will. But since it's, I normally would get a four, maybe they won't be as tight or as skinny of a jean. But whenever I saw these, I was like, uh, no. And they had tons of lucky jeans in there. Not just black. They had like, like a medium wash denim. They had tons of the black pair. And I don't know if just because a couple of people said that skinny jeans weren't cool anymore, that no one wants them. But one man's trash is another man's treasure, okay? We love these. All right, I'm going to move the camera and I'm gonna try everything on for you guys. I'm probably gonna make like outfits out of this if I can, just so we're not trying on pieces forever and ever and ever. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so here are 
the first three pieces they tried on. So first off, we have this little faux leather top. It fits perfectly. I feel like I need to kind of reach in and pick up each boob. Hold on. That's a bit better. Huh, it kind of had my boobs smushed down whenever I zipped it up. I did get it zipped all the way. It wasn't, it wasn't that hard to be honest. All right, so here are the jeans. Like I thought, I could have definitely went with a four. These are pretty loose, but they're comfortable and they don't feel like super duper skinny. And I'm not mad about it, okay? Very, very cute. They're kind of like a relaxed straight leg on me because they are a little big and baggy. So I really, I really like it. Very, very nice. Okay, and then this blazer, guys, I can Can you even with the blazer? The pockets are functioning. It's lined. I mean, y'all, it's this is a well-made blazer. This isn't just like a hunk of junk. This isn't like cheap shit. This is a well-made blazer. Are these buttons functioning? No. Okay. I actually kind of like that because you know how sometimes whenever you have something like this that has buttons on the sleeve, the button holes, the little like loops will get worn out and then it'll just come unbuttoned. So I like that it's got the detail, but it's not functioning because I wasn't going to use them anyways. What was I going to like I could still fold, like roll this up if I really wanted to, no problem. Here is the back of the blazer. I mean, it definitely comes down really, really far. Very, very cute. I love this. I'm here for it, okay? Like, I am here for this blazer. Now, is this outfit the best ever? No, not really, okay? I wouldn't wear a mid-rise jean with a fitted corset top or bustier top and a blazer. I just don't think I would go with that, but I'm into this. Very, very cute. Loving it. What is this? Crystal, what are these? So let's go ahead and jump into the next thing. Okay, so I thought I was going to like the other faux leather top more than this one. It's reversed. There's something about this one that I absolutely am in love with. This one is it's good, okay? She's good. Also, I like the fact that I don't really have to wear a bra with this, but if I did want to wear a bra, I could wear pretty much any bra I wanted with this one, and we're good. But I kind of think it's sexier with no bra because, I mean, obviously you can tell there's no bra under here. Now, do I have the perkiest boobs ever? No, no, I do not, but I'm owning my little mama boobies, okay? I'm owning these these little babies, all right? They may not be up here anymore, but they are where they are, and they're hanging out, and they're here, all right? So, this top is good. Now, this top doesn't look as bad with these mid-rise jeans. If you're someone that's okay with showing a lot, you know, that's cool. You could do that. That is for you to do, if that is something you would like to do. I'm not someone that would be comfortable going out in public with mid-rise jeans and a crop top and like high-waisted jeans. Yes, your girl's here for that. That would be a look, but not so much this, really. So, like this top, though. It was actually easy to zip up. I could get it to here, and then I just reached over and then did it the rest of the way, and the zipper was smooth as butter. So... I'm liking this one. And the zipper detail is really, really cute. The fact that it's got like that big chunky gold zipper, like that is a really cute detail. I like this. This is a good little top. If they have these in your TJ Maxx, like go, go grab some for sure. Let's jump into the next thing. Okay. Um, I just want to say this real quick. All y'all that kept passing up this dress. Hey, get off there. You're being loved. Everybody that kept passing up this dress in TJ Maxx, you were you were sleeping on something good. First of all, I had no idea it was going to be this long. Uh, bitch, what? Can we talk? Also, I don't have a bra on, and I don't think it looks bad. What? I, 
Okay, this is my new favorite clothing item that I own, and I will wear this anytime I get the opportunity. Y'all, tell me, does this look like an $8 dress? Be, be serious, be serious. Does this look like an $8 dress? Because I don't think it looks like an $8 dress. I told y'all already, if you can wear it right, if you can wear it right with the right confidence, it ain't gonna look like an $8 dress. I don't think this looks like an $8 dress. Tell me in the comments, what do y'all think? Does this look like an $8 dress to you? I need to know. Okay, also, I'm sorry for the squeaky floor. I can't help it, okay? It's just, it just is what it is. All right, let's jump into the next thing. Okay, so here are the last pieces. I think... Okay, so obviously I have completely won at TJ Maxx. Everything was a score. So does that make me like the ultimate Max Maxinista? Is that what they're called? Maxinistas? I don't know. Also, I didn't bother putting on a bra. So no, you don't see my little droopy boobies. Okay. Anywho, here are the overalls and the top. Super duper cute. I didn't do the drawstring because I don't know. I kind of like the, the baggy look, but honestly, cute. Here's the back. Like I said, it has the one booty pocket. Super cute. And then it has the, you know, hip pockets. Very cute. Very comfy. These are nice. Like this is comfortable. I would say definitely true to size because I got a small and this fits great. This shirt fits amazing, very comfortable, very stretchy. Like I said, I did size up just because I didn't want it to be super tight in the arms and it's not, so good deal. I probably could have worn the small just fine, but shirts like this, like it's still very fitted here, you know? I just didn't want it to be like super tight like in here. That's just not, that's not comfortable. And then I have the shoes on and I'm gonna be honest, like I said, I was afraid these were going to be way too big. Uh, they are not. They are extremely comfortable. And the toe, like the, the width of the toe area is super wide. So if you're someone like me, I have like wider toes and I need more room at that part of my shoe just so I'm not like squished and uncomfortable. These aren't squishing me at all. I don't feel anything touching my big toe or my pinky toe. They are both free and having a good time, but I still could wear socks and, and be comfortable in these. So that is a win-win. I'm actually really glad that I got the eight. And they are extremely comfortable. I'm loving these. Very good purchase. I would wear them today, but it is raining and I don't want to get them gross. But I think the fabric that they are... I think they'd be easy to clean. And they're also cream colored, not like like bright white, so that's also a plus. But guys, 110% everything I got at TJ Maxx, I love. I absolutely love it. It all fits great. It all is like, blew me out of the water. I'm not gonna lie, the dark horse of this video, the front runner for the best piece, most surprising, come from behind would be that $8 dress. I was not expecting that dress to hit like it did, okay? I'm still in awe that that dress had the audacity to come up in my house and look like that. Like, wow. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting it to be a meh type of moment and I'd be like, well, it was only $8, so you win some, you lose some. No, that dress is the best thing I got. Best $8 I have spent in forever, okay? And everything else is, is great too. That blazer, amazing. These overalls, amazing. These shoes, 10 out of 10. Those faux leather tops, amazing find. Super good, especially if you're someone that doesn't like to use, like wear real leather. There you go. Super cute. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this try on haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. I can't wait to hear. I cannot wait to hear. Also, let me know, does that dress look like an $8 dress or are we all as surprised as I am? 
I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do that before you go. Also, check out the description box. I will not link these things because I doubt I can find them on TJ Maxx's website, but I mean, maybe I'll look and see, but don't, don't bank on it. <clears throat> but you can find links to my TikTok and my Instagram down there. If you don't get enough of me over here during the week, you can follow me on those two platforms and get more of me. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. I said I love you like three times in a row. I just really love you, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye. Also, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, okay? I hope you have a very blessed holiday. Okay, bye.